today on the best Alberta job there is to be having if you're a Texas bed operator. Stress basket case. So today we're taking a 12 by 60 into the city of Calgary, into a residential area. Not my favorite, but uh, when they need a spot bot, I'll be there. So we're going to go over to Q&A. We're going to load a 14 by 60 and stuff that in the shop. And then after that, we'll load the 12 by 60 and we'll skedaddle and get on our way. You think that you'll die without him You know that's a lie that you tell yourself You fear that you live on forever now It ain't true, ain't true so put your arms around me tonight Let the music lift you up like you've never been so high Open up your heart to me Let the music lift you up like you've never been this deep Till you feel the sun rise Let the music warm your body like the heat of a thousand fires The heat of a thousand fires in the So the sketchy part about uh, putting the shacks in the shop is they got an overhead crane just as you come in the door. Uh, there's just enough room to get the shack to teeter up on the trailer and just barely miss the crane. And then it out onto the floor before it hits the back wall. So it keeps you on your toes and it's, it's a good learning process, but not for the unskilled. <laughs> tight squeeze at some times we get too many shacks in here um, but it makes a better driver out of a guy it uh, teaches you how to back up to a load at a 90 degree angle and get her just spot on I didn't quite get it straight but it's on the trailer we're just gonna move out of the hole here and we'll get the loader to push it over against the pin so it's nice and straight because I'm a perfectionist it's got to be perfect <laughs> So in the midst of all this turning at 90 degree angles with my wheel slid all the way forward, I got a spot where my airlines will actually fall into and get pinched on a corner and I went to pull up to the intersection and I noticed I'm like, well I'm not stopping that good and then I looked out my back window and sure enough I could see the broken where it just basically tore the airline right in half and the glad hands just sitting there. So I wanted to pull over on the exit ramp here, fix the glad hand quick, and also in the midst of doing that, I must have hit the door lock with my elbow because I put my fittings back in under the seat on the passenger side, walk around to the driver's side, and then I'm like, what an idiot. And I'm like, I don't have my phone in my pocket, the door's locked, I'm like, the other side better be open. Luckily enough, the door doesn't lock when it's open because it could have been a bad start. It felt like Monday, but it was Tuesday.
too bad. I always overstress. I get stressed out about things all the time and it, it usually ends up being nothing at all. I like to overthink things. I gotta stop and I gotta work on that. But now that we're here, they're like, yeah, we gotta move. Cause I never really got instructions on where we're gonna put this. They're talking about, oh, we're gonna put it in here. And I'm like, oh, that's gonna be a stiff one to get done. But then I started looking around. I'm like, oh, if we knock down this pile of dirt over here and maybe move this and move that, I can like have a straight shot in at a 45 off the road, right into the spot where they kind of want it. So I'm like, perfect. I'm like, can we? And they're like, yeah, we can. They're like, oh, we don't have keys for this other hoe. Just so happens I was at a keys party last night and I ended up being the last pick. I got this bulky set of equipment keys. Who wants to take that home? Ugh. And that, my friend, is why we drive the rugged C500s. He ain't got no city highway hauling Peterbilt that's gonna climb a dirt hill. And look at this door. Wow, that is sweet. So much brighter in here nowadays. My days are much brighter with that door. <laughs> <laughs> 